to talk about somebody today that two people that I don't think that my normal subscribers know who these people are. I imagine a lot of people that are going to watch this video or people that are not, you know, normally on my channel. But just to let the people know that do subscribe to me who these people are, I'm going to show you a couple of clips. This person is Pooh Shiesty. Hey, 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 Yo, the trauma stay so close to me that you would think we made. Hold on, like this. And not we pulled to be because it mama raised. Mama. We had a clear shot on his head, but I think God saved. God saved. Never walked up, hit your man, you probably never grazed. Hey, I'm a real gangster, this some shit you can't rehearse. Uh, I'm knocking you the hurt, now I get wrecked to spit a verse. God bless me with some accuracy on the day I was burning. This next guy is Nuke Bizzle. And you know what it is, man. So, man, today we got an interesting story coming out of Los Angeles, California. And it's about a rapper that's not well known, man. His name is Nuke Bizzle. And Nuke Bizzle is being accused of committing fraud, you know, on the California state government as a part of this whole COVID-19 relief. Now, like I said in the last video that I did about dude from Pretty Ricky, man, they gonna learn, they gonna learn, man. So anyway, these two guys are from Memphis, Tennessee. Now see, I'm sure that a lot of you guys that are clicking on this is because I hashtagged it under Pooh Shiesty. Let's face it, Pooh Shiesty has a younger, um, I forget the word, audience, you know, is, is, is a lot younger people. I'm from a generation before you guys, most of you. And I'm going to speak from the heart here, and I'm not trying to attack anybody or, you know, anything like that. Because Lord knows that a lot of you men nowadays are so emotional, you, you can't take constructive criticism. And that's an, a whole other point there. You know, don't get so offended when, when somebody says something, man. Chill out. You guys need to chill out a little bit. But let's talk about this. Poo Shiesty. He was arrested for flexing on Instagram over a robbery he did. And he uh, had taken a picture with the bills. And the serial, one of the bills was left at the scene of the robbery on accident by Poo Shiesty. The feds got it. They zoomed in on the picture from the Instagram. Well, those serial numbers matched up, and it was that's how they got him. Flexing online. Caring what people think. Showing your wealth. If you want to keep friends, my friend, if you ever receive wealth, you better not let anybody know it, because you're going to lose all your friends. Moving right along. I had a friend. His name was Jimmy. He lived near me. And Jimmy, his dad passed away. And he left him a lot of guns. Well, Jimmy was well known around the hood in Nutbush. And so Jimmy was constantly taking pictures in his living room with his handguns and his assault rifles that he had acquired from his dad's passing. Well, lo and behold, somebody breaks into the house one day. When Kenny's not home, I'm sorry, Jimmy. I'm sorry, I'm high as hell. When Jimmy wasn't there, they break in his house and take all of his guns. You know why? Flexing on Facebook. Um, the older that I get, the less I care about what people think. We're all going to die. What does it matter about what the people think of you, the people that are around you, in your circle, and your acquaintances, and everybody, to impress them? What is that? What does it do for you? What does it gain? Nothing. Nothing at all. Who cares what they think? What, is that, what does it matter? Moving on to my next point. You have to learn to take your money and run. You have to learn how to act, young people. If you get a little hood rich all of a sudden and you get some bands, you got to learn how to act. You can't go out there and let people know. You can't let your best friends know because then they're not going to be your best friends anymore. 
because they're going to say so and so man he don't deserve that shit he's a da, 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 and they're going to set you up it's 2021 you have to learn how to make your money and live like you're broke you can't let people know it'll ruin your friendships because they're going to say hey let me get a hundred dollars because they know that you got six racks and you say look i can't do that because i'm trying to do i got plans with my money you know i've been down out for a minute you know i'm trying to make this work okay all of a sudden you lose that friend so i'm saying and that's just tip of the iceberg it gets a lot worse than that setups all kind of things and it's happened to me personally and that's how i know this to flex on instagram is the absolute most dumb and self-destructive thing you can do um to get at one of these record labels youngsters is the biggest curse you can get it's not from god it's from the prince of this world which is lucifer the devil son of the morning the white bearer it is very clear and if you listen to all the words of your favorite rappers they have sold their souls to get these contracts. These people do sacrifices. And that's why a lot of these guys die. It is not what you want. Okay? It's not what it seems. You hear how depressed these guys are? You read some of these crazy texts? You listen to Kanye when he... When he has his crazy freakouts, no, Kanye's telling you how it is. Um, it's not what you want, guys. Rap career is not what you want. Why do you think so many of the rappers have their family members dying around them all the time? Too many to name. Why do you think that is, guys? You need to seek Jesus Christ. He's the only way in this world. All this money, all this stuff is nothing. It's all just to be trampled under the foot of men. To impress people and all that is garbage. You need to get in the middle of the road. You don't need to be super rich. You don't need to be super poor. You need to live a modest life. You need to make honest money. You need to put family second and Jesus Christ, our Lord, number one. You need to read your Bible. I'm not saying you personally, but don't be a person that says that they don't believe in the Bible and you know you haven't read it or any large portions of it or even the gospel. And my friend, if you haven't read the Bible, please start with the book of John, the you know, in the gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. I was in prison and I was forced to read the Bible out of nothing else to do. And I read Matthew, and I realized right then and there why, what all of our purpose is, is here for. Why do you think these, these rappers are empty? They got the world. They have everything. Why are they so empty? Why are they so depressed? Why are they not satisfied? Because spiritually, there's something missing, and it's Jesus Christ. All other religions are man reaching out to God. The Holy Bible is the only book that is God reaching out to man. It's never been, it's never gone anywhere, and it never will. And it's never been contradicted, no matter what anybody says. Ron Wyatt, a gentleman, just recently, in the past 20 years, actually located Noah's Ark. Guess where it was? On Mount Ararat in Turkey. Right where the Bible said. And guess what? The dimensions are exactly the same as what it says in the Bible. Ron Wyatt also recently discovered within the last 20 years Sodom and Gomorrah. And it's obviously a city. It's of ash. And it's littered with brimstone. There's no brimstone anywhere around that area for God only knows how far. He found these places by studying the Bible and geography, history, all that. It's all real, guys. Um, 
for you non-believers, I encourage you to look up the the finding of Noah's Ark, Ron Wyatt, W-Y-A-T-T. Because if the boat is real, then maybe the whole book is. You know, you might want to just think about that. I, I would be doing you a disservice to not tell you about the power of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And the media makes us Christians look like fools and idiots, and it's all a big joke. It's because the Satanists are in charge of all that. It's not a joke, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm just here to tell you from the Lord and the Holy Spirit, He wants me to tell you that He loves you. And I love you all too. You're all my fellow brothers and sisters. But if you're going to live that life, to, con to conclude, if you're going to live that lifestyle, guys, if you just have to, don't flex. Don't do things on Instagram. Being a gangster and being in the limelight is oil and water. They don't mix. Okay? If you're from my generation, they were, back then they would have laughed you off the block if you had social media. They would have probably killed you because you would have been a, a liability to the unit. Putting that, you know, they would have, you would have been caught putting that on the internet and that would have brought down everybody. They probably would have just straight whacked you. Nowadays, everybody does it. You guys need to listen to some Yo Gotti albums and get schooled. Learn how to do it the right way because you people are lost out there, youngins. And there's too many of you getting killed. I'm going to say it because it's on my heart. You guys have inferiority complex. You don't know how to fight. All you want to do is pick up a gun because somebody said something to you, disrespected you. You guys are too scared to lose a fight. So you'd rather shoot him and ruin his mother and every, all those people, that everybody that loves him, ruin all those lives just because you have an inferiority complex and you can't fight him. You, you don't have the strength and the manliness inside of you to take an ass whooping. In front of people. So many many of you would rather shoot. You youngins. Y'all got to stop. Who cares if you lose a fight man. It's like in prison. As long as you fight back. It's all good. Friday. You live to fight another day man. It's the truest statement I've ever heard. Put down the guns. And put up y'all's fists man. You will respect each other afterwards. You'll have a bond that's undescribable. When two men fight and you get into a good fist fight and it's over, you have respect for each other because you're both men. You handled it like men. You didn't handle it like a 15-year-old that didn't have a dad that's not in control of his emotions and has a serious inferiority complex and is too scared to lose a fight because his girlfriend might see it or hear about it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Pick up some boxing gloves and call homie and say, hey, come on over here. Do it legally. You ain't even got to go to jail to whoop his ass. Wise up, y'all. Listen to me, please. Please. I care about y'all, y'all, man. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done. But just, I love y'all. I love everybody listening. Bye.